it took less than six minutes. Six minutes from the time that Joe Reynolds left a family dinner at a Silver Spring restaurant until his sister-in-law found him bleeding to death here in the stairwell of the Wayne Avenue garage. He had dumped the leftovers in the car and was on his way back to meet his family at the ice cream shop. Six minutes from celebration to sorrow. That was four days before Christmas and five months later, investigators still have no idea who killed him. Whatever happened, happened in a moment. Karis Hastings was hesitant to talk to the media. Well, I hope that um, whoever did it, you know, is sorry about what happened, maybe didn't mean for it to happen. I would just want that person to never do it again and never have another family go through what my family has gone through. There are cameras in the garage, but not in the stairwell. They found witnesses who heard the shot, but no one who saw the shooter running away on foot or speeding away in a car. We're really at our wits end in this particular incident because it is um, it doesn't make sense to us. Reynolds was an electrical engineer with three daughters who retired from the federal government and went to work for a high tech lab in national security. But what gives his widow strength um, is remembering no the little the things they used to do together. You know, every time I go walk the dog and I think about how we'd walk the dog together, um, we used to play pickleball almost every day when the weather was nice. There's a small shrine here where Joe Reynolds died. Detectives are desperate for tips, even anonymous tips to crime solvers. 866-411-TIPS. In Silver Spring, Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9. Yeah, you never want to hear police say they're at wit's end when it comes to an investigation like this. So yeah. if you know anything, please do come forward.